This will be a seven loop puff stitch. Now puff stitches can come in all thicknesses. This one is a seven loop one. Now how do you count the loops and how do you make it? So let's get going. First thing we've got to do is the yarn over. Now the seven loops refers to how many loops you end up with on your hook when you're making a puff stitch. So we're going to go into the next stitch and pull up a loop three times. Every time we do that we add two loops to the hook and plus the starting one gives you seven. So let's go yarn over, pull up a loop once, yarn over, pull up a loop twice, yarn over, pull up a loop three times, count them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops on the hook. To complete a puff stitch you do now a yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook in one go like that. See the puff there? And then we do a closing chain to secure it. So a nice little bit of puff stitch there. Let's do that again. Yarn over into the next stitch, pull up a loop three times once, twice and three times. That gives us seven loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yarn over, pull through all and a closing chain. That's two puff stitches right there. Now some of the technique with puff stitches, people do grapple with getting through all of the loops on that pull through. Uh, my suggestion to you is, well my the way I do it is I don't twist my hook around. That's fatal when you're making puff stitches. Don't twist your hook. In fact I hold the hook the way it was designed, flat facing me, grab the yarn and pull through. I did miss that last one because I wasn't paying attention but normally it goes through very smoothly. Now there is you know, advice about getting particular kinds of hooks. The only thing really is make sure your hook is clean. Hooks get greasy after a while from the body fats in your hands that, you know, that exude or sometimes there's other things on your hands. Make sure your hooks when you're working are always clean. Give them a wash every now and then with a little bit of soapy water make sure they're dry. But other than that really it's really about having a nice comfortable relaxed grip. Don't pull anything too tight. Yarn over and pull through all and closing chain. The other bit of advice with puffs that we hear people talk about a lot complaining that their puff is popping open. So the other trick is don't make the puff too tall. So here we go, yarn over, I'll do another one. I'm going to actually move over a little bit so we can see it. I'm going to come over here and make a really tall puff and you'll see what happens to it. Yarn over, pull up a loop. I'm going to pull the loops really high. One, two, three, oh that's it, seven loops. Pull through and closing chain. Now when you've made it tall like that, it collapses and it will open like this one is, is it will open after it's been pushed around a bit whereas these are really quite um, established They've, they're not really moving around whereas these threads are now pulling apart let's do that again nice tall puff which is not what we want yarn over pull up a loop once I'm doing them tall twice three times close it closing chain and it's not as neat see the difference in these two as opposed to these two these are not as neat and they will get pushed around and they will open up like this. Whereas this one, I mean even though I pull it and push it and pull it and push it, it does not open up like this one has. So let's do a nice one again. Let's go back to doing the nice ones. Yarn over. Pull up a loop to about the size of a half double crochet, not too tall. Once, twice and three times. Yarn over, pull through all and a closing chain and there you go. And you can see the difference, how much neater that is to this one that has been pulled way too tall and then collapses down, the, leads become, the threads become loose and the puff just comes apart. Whereas this one doesn't do that. Even if I pull it, out of the, pull it apart, it's just going to pop back where it was supposed to be. So that's the difference between these and these. So never pull your puffs too tall. They just can't hold themselves up. I'll do one more and then you can go and have a good play. One, two, three, pull through, closing chain, that's a seven loop puff. There you go. See the difference? Catch you next time.